Hello students, today we will start a new series, a regression series. This is lecture number 32 and uh, part 1 of the regression series. Today we will discuss regression and simple regression and today's lecture is regression and introduction. I am Dr. Muhammad Zaheer. Regression analysis is done to analyze the relationship between interval variables generally the variable and specifically the dependent variable should be interval variable regression analysis is used to predict the values of one variable the dependent variable on the basis of the other variable which is the independent variable so dependent variable is denoted by y and independent variable can be x1 x2 and you can use as many as possible but in today's lecture we'll use simple linear regression that requires only one independent and one dependent variable regression and correlation have a very close relationship if we are interested only in determining whether a relationship exists we apply correlation analysis to see that and if we wish to see the effect of one variable on another variable we employ regression analysis Linear regression analysis is a tool with several important applications such as it is a way of testing hypotheses concerning the relationship between two numerical variables. It is a way of estimating the specific nature of such a relationship. It allows us to predict values of one variable if we know or can estimate the other variable. Why it is linear relationship? x and y form a straight line when graphed that is changes by constant amount every time x increases by one unit we take a classic example of economic relationship between consumption and income each additional dollar of income enables a person consume more let us see the relationship between income and consumption and we have drawn this relationship in a scatter plot let us see so this scatter plot shows that the aggregate personal income when it increases it also increases the aggregate personal consumption so this is a perfect linear relationship which has been shown by a straight line this is very ideal now let us see the simple linear regression equation or what we call it a model. A straight line method with one independent variable is called first order linear model or simple linear regression model and it is written as y is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x plus epsilon or error term. y is the dependent variable, beta naught is the y intercept at y intercept is a place where the straight line touches the y axis beta 1 is the coefficient of regression which is telling us the amount of change in the independent variable that can change the amount uh, that can cause a change in the dependent variable and x here is the independent variable so we see consumption is equal to intercept plus beta 1 that is the slope of the relationship or the straight line income plus random error or error term. If x and y genuinely have a positive relationship beta 1 is positive number and if they have inverse relationship beta 1 is a ne negative number and if there is no relationship beta 1 is equal to 0. So this beta 1 shows that what is the nature of the relationship between x the independent variable and y the dependent variable. Technically speaking linear regression investigates any relationship by examining the amount of variation explained in the dependent variable by independent variable or variables. If you have more than one variable then it would be called multiple regression otherwise it is simple linear regression linear regression helps determine amount of variation explained by the variables that we included in the model and the unexplained variation caused by random factors in the model dependent variable is also called outcome variable 
and independent variable is also called predictor variable. So these are different names uh, that different writers have used. Interpreting the outcomes of regression analysis. Amount of variation explained by the independent variables is calculated by the coefficient of determination which is called R square. Higher the value of R square better the model is. Then we see the F test. It should be statistically significant if we want to say that our model is a good fit or our model is significant. Then we see the beta one. It should be greater than zero and statistically significant. So its value should be less than 0 0.05. For this we see T test. There are a few assumptions for linear regression. First dependent variable should be numerical or at least interval or at max or uh, ideally it should be a ratio variable. Dependent variable should be reasonably normally distributed and we have already discussed how to check the normal distribution of a variable. Independent variable may be interval or categorical. If it is categorical it should be dichotomous for ex which means that it should have only two categories. More than two categories will not be handled by SPSS. Let's take the example. Our research question is does spending on advertising increase the sales of a product? Let us do it. We have a file which is the sample file in SPSS that is advert.sav. First we would see whether there is a relationship between advertising and sales. Let's first go and see the scatter plot. We draw a graph. Here we go in graph, chart builder, scattered or dot and simple. Now advertising spending is the independent variable. You can bring advertising here in the x axis. Generally we use y axis for the dependent variable and sales on the dependent variable on the y axis. Press OK. So this is uh, the scatter gram, scatter diagram. You can double click on it and you can click here add fit line at total. And here is the line which you can see this shows that there is a relationship between advertising spending and the amount of sales and you can see this is x axis this is y axis and this is the line straight line showing the simple linear regression and this is y intercept where the line touches the y axis. Now we go to check the relationship, does a relationship exist between sales and the advertising amount spent? We go to correlate, bivariate and we see Pearson correlation, press OK and you can see there is a very strong correlation 0.916 between advertising spending and sales. So you can see that the variables are strongly correlated. Both the variables have a strong relationship. But here in correlation we just see the relationship. Does any relationship exist and we can confidently say that there is a relationship between advertising spending and the uh, sales. And you can see this relationship is also statistically significant. It is strong and statistically significant. Now we should see what does regression analysis tell us. The initial things have gone in the favor that there is a relationship. Let us see. We go to analyze regression, linear regression. Dependent variable is the sales. Take sales in the dependent variable and advertising in the independent variables list. And we just go to click OK. And here we see uh, the method that we have used. This is called enter method. And the variables 
are advertising and spending dependent variable is sales all requested variables are entered now the model summary tells us first thing what you are going to see is the value of r square this is 0.839 if we square the correlation coefficient 0.916 it becomes r square which is the coefficient of determination it shows that 0.839 is the r square which means that the advertising spending has explained 0.839 change in the dependent variable which is sales so uh, let us see we just multiply 0 0.839 0 0.839 by 100 and then we will be able to tell you exactly 83.9 percent variation in the dependent variable sales is caused by the advertising spending and uh, uh, 83.9 what about the rest 16.1 is the unexplained variation there might be many other factors which are uh, affecting the sales so next we see this ANOVA table this F ratio and this is significant it is less than 0 0.05 so it means that our model our equation is statistically significant and we see the advertising now this is the coefficient table in this you, you will see this beta this is basically beta this is constant this is y intercept and this is 1.071 what does that mean this means that one unit increase in advertising spending will increase 1.071 sales so one unit increase in advertising spending will increase the sales by 1.071 and you can see it this particular variable is also statistically significant it was already there in the model so we have seen the three things first we have seen the uh, r square which was quite good then we have seen the overall model the f test the ANOVA table gives us that this model is significant and then we have seen the coefficients table so this coefficient table tells us that this particular uh, relationship exists and the uh, this meaning of the constant is that this is basically y intercept here we can see so you can see that this is the real y intercept where you can see that y intercept means that if there is no independent variable so if there is no advertising then still we will have the sales equal to 6.584 so this is an excellent example of a relationship that is testified by scatter plot by correlation and by regression as well so our regression equation is actually y equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x plus error terms and what we have uh, got from our uh, output of SPSS sales are equal to sales y that is the dependent variable equal to beta naught beta 1 is the y intercept that is 6.584 plus beta 1 the slope of the line or the uh, regression coefficient for advertising that is 1.071 into the independent variable which is the advertising plus error terms and it, uh, which were about 16.1 percent so what we interpret that one unit increase in advertising will increase the sales by 1.071 and this is the interpretation of the beta 1 and this is y intercept or the constant we generally call it it means that if our spending on advertising becomes zero even then our sales would be 6.584 whatever the unit is millions or billions of uh, dollars or rupees so this is the way we uh, develop our regression equation from the SPSS output so I hope 
you must have understood simple linear regression how simple linear regression works and how we are going to interpret the results see you in the next video that would be multiple regression till then thank you take care allah hafiz